yes hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we shall be looking at part two of this video yeah so in the last video if you are following up until now you can realize that this part here was not part of this sieve receiver and also we had the sieve seated here yeah this is because it is a progressive design i never had like dimensions written down or anything like that so i'm doing it progressive that yeah so i later on added these holes and these will be the motor holes this is where the motor will be mounted so please if you haven't subscribed subscribe turn on turn on the notification bell and wait for more videos so i'll start straight out with part two of this video yeah this is a mechanical project student mechanical yeah and you shall be trying to make a saving machine for sand yes so allow me add more components including the sieve itself then i'll go ahead and add the motor like this like this coincident then from here that and this what you do with that so that is the same yeah so from here i'm going to add more items and allow me start with the Mm. Start with the motor. So the motor will be sitting on this platform. We are all seeing. Then I make those holes to be concentric yeah so if you can see you can see that they are perfectly aligned yes so. and just lock this up i'll do the same here this make it par so the motor should be locked now and it is fully defined yeah so from here i'm going to add the connecting rod uh, it's this one here i decide to change its color This rod be kept in place by side clips. So when it's concentric, then this and that be at that level. So I'll later run add on the side clips and they'll be coming here. Hmm. You can all see how it is coming. Out. Yeah, so I'm going to add another component, and that's the the pulley. So turn it. Place the direction. Then what is coming next? 
it's painting then this that should be for instant so this is my pool so so far here we are and next part I want to be adding second connecting rod um yeah like this so this is what I wanted it's out a very good picture I can easily make this then I can do this like that So just as a final part, make sure this and this are pile to get. So having made those pile, uh, I can that should be. Centric like that, so yeah, yeah, it has all gone well. Be able to give me this motion, they are all seeing the motion, yeah. So, this is a slot for the key, however, this shaft is not separate, so I wanted to leave it like this simply to enable me be able like to do the simulation yeah so basically here we are and can all see so that is the motion we need for the sieve to work yeah okay so from here we are going to bolt everything up and I think I'll give a brief introduction about this tool box. Come to the design library, check. Come here straight away, go to metrics. Then let me start with some nuts. Select this. Then, so small. Now make it M ten. Now also make this schematic like that. So that is it. And see the motion it will come about so I'm going to do put some screws also put M8 and I'll increase the length Link. 
me try that. That is much. Five. Yeah. That is okay. Then I'll do schematic type of thread. Say okay. So from there, can do the same thing here. Oh. Start the same thing here. Do the same thing there, and finally we add it here. Like that. So those are basically the bolts I want. I'll come and finish that off. Then the next thing is adding monads. Edge. Yeah, so don't add monads. Then you can do a complete simulation about the whole thing. So still I'll come to the tools and I'll go to nuts select this and I come and I try to just switch that out perfect so this is it it's um m8 and also i'll do schematic threads inside and i click it off so since you Having the same type of bolts, I'll do the same here. Come on, three. Come on, you do the same here. Okay. Yeah, then finally, I'll do that. So, there is one that went astray, it's this one. I wanted to bother myself, so I just delete it off. So, basically, this is where we are. Everything is bolted and is in place. Yeah, these are bearings, so. And see they are off. I don't touch anything apart from going touching this guide. Uh, functionality, testing the functionality. I'll be rotating this whole thing. So moving like that. Yeah, so final step realize that this part is somehow long, so the long run I'll need to make this piece longer so that the big stones are showing somebody saving uh, sand that is full of big stones or bigger particles they can be collected around here so with this the next part is going to be simulation whereby I'm going to try to I'm going to try to keep this small rotation, I'm going to do some motion study and come and add the motor here and in the direction speed can be maintained. Then I click that. So let me see what we have. 
it so basically it is how this wave will be working Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. And please, if you're new here, subscribe, and comment, like, and share for anything that you would like to be clarified about. And comment in the comment section, then I'll find it there. Thank you so much. This has been project in the second video yeah so the saving takes place from here they pour down there see that it is slanting so all those particles run and pour here the good particles meaning that we need something here yeah thank you so much hoping to hear from each one of you very soon